Hi, and welcome to another MathsRevision.net video on bearings. When working with bearings, there are three important rules to remember. Firstly, we always measure bearings from the north. Second, bearings are always measured clockwise. And finally, bearings must be written as three digits. So, for example, instead of 21 degrees, we would write 0, 2, 1. For this exercise we have arranged four random points and we'll label them A, B, C and D. Now, remembering our first rule of measuring from the north, we'll draw a line directly up at zero degrees. This will act as a guide. Now, we remember we always measure bearings clockwise, so we'll now measure the bearing A to B. We draw a straight line from the centre of our origin through the centre of our point in question for us, that is point B, be sure to use a ruler for this. Now, we are measuring this angle here, so let's grab our protractor. Align the origin of the middle point, and ensure our zero line is in line with our north line we marked earlier. Counting round, we see the line crosses our protractor at 113 degrees. Since that is our three digit requirement, we can simply write 113 as our answer. So, we will begin to move on to point C. Again, beginning with a straight line pointing directly north. Still using the ruler, we draw another line intercepting the centres of point B and C. Let's grab our protractor again and measure at this angle. It's about 43 degrees, but as we know, bearings must be written as a three digit number, so we simply write 043. You should be an expert by now, but our final example is a bit more complicated. We begin again by drawing our north pointing line and joining our other two points. What you'll notice here is that our protractor only goes up to 180 degrees when measured clockwise. So we can mark out where 180 falls on our diagram and turn the zero point to that mark. We work out our new angle from the new zero and in this example that's 104. Now we simply need to add together our original 180 to our 104 to get our clockwise angle measurement. So 180 plus 104 is 284. Some people find another method easier. Again, keeping all the same lines, we can remember that any circle has 360 degrees. So using our protractor and the inside measurements, we can get the angle of 76 degrees. All we need to do now is subtract 76 from 360 to get the same answer of 284. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can find more information at mathsrevision.net and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Revision World TV.